Hey there folks, it has been quite some time since I've uploaded a video, but I have got a little something special today. We're going to pick up another ranger. So I managed to find this one kind of just by a stroke of luck through an email group that I'm a part of um, for the ranger EVs. And one of the guys on there put a post that he was uh, getting rid of his ranger, and it was free. So basically, he's what he said was, anybody who can come and pick it up within the next week, it's yours. So I managed to catch that email within maybe about five minutes of when it was sent. So I was the first one to email the guy back, and here I am. I'm on my way there to go pick it up. So I rented a U-Haul with a trailer, and... Um, we we'll picking it up in about two hours or so, and I'm pretty excited. I don't know anything about it other than that it's a 1998 and it has a blown front tire, so I stole one off the other Ranger to stick on it just so we can roll it on the trailer here, and that's about all I know. I don't even know what color it is, so I guess we'll both find out together. This one is a 1998 with just under 34,000 original miles. Pretty clean, has a few things taken apart in it. I had to swap a tire on from my other Ranger since this one was blown out on the front. So one of the differences between this and the later models is in 1998 they had a carbon fiber leaf springs for the rear with a watts link to keep the rear end centered. All the later ones just have regular steel leaf springs and um, no watts link. And that's really the only main difference between this and the other truck other than of course the color. This one was also originally lead acid and it still has lead acid batteries in it that I don't think have been charged in at least three years according to the guy that I got it from. But uh, anyway the best part about this is I went and picked it up for free. The guy just kind of wanted to get rid of it. He was originally planning to get it working for his company and um, it just didn't end up following through, so they ended up having it for about five years and put the newer kind of used lead-acid batteries in it and made it run. And they drove it a handful of times before they parked it, and then it just kind of sat. When I picked it up, it was kind of surrounded by some pallets of some concrete blocks and bags of dirt. And um, anyway, now I've rescued it, so... Chances are what's going to end up happening is either this truck or the other truck is going to end up as sort of a parts mobile that will get taken apart and all the uh, important parts will be put on a pallet to save in case something goes wrong with the other and I guess I've just got to decide which one I want to keep. I like the color of this one for sure. Red isn't a very common color on these Ranger EVs but it does have some body damage, mainly right here. And other than that, most of the body's clean, other than just being dirty, of course, but not really any real major dents to speak of, just a couple little minor scrapes that look like they'll buff out pretty easy. And it has the, the original graphics too, which is kind of cool. Anyhow, 
time to get it home and I'll probably try and give it a little bit of a wash too. Two hours later. All right, made it back to the shop. So now I'm just gonna give it a rinse off because the truck's pretty dirty and then uh, go ahead and park it around back on the, on the side of the building here. All right, here goes. All right, here it is, all cleaned up, or at least mostly anyways. It was pretty grimy from sitting for a long time, just like the other truck was. So I gave it a quick rinse with the pressure washer. I was afraid the pressure washer would damage the original decals on the doors and the tailgate, but surprisingly it didn't. As you can see, this truck did have HOV stickers, which means that it can't ever have them again. Um, the white truck, however, has never had HOV stickers, which means that it could have HOV stickers put on it now. Um, it doesn't really matter to me where I live and for the type of driving that I do, but um, it would be kind of cool to have valid stickers. Um, but yeah, as you can see, the body is mostly straight. And I think with, uh, with an actual clean, with some soap and water, and uh, maybe a bit of a buff and polish, I think it would come out pretty good. It has a couple little scrapes and scratches that I think would buff out really easily. All except for that one really bad spot on the passenger side here with the fender and the door. So, I think I could replace the fender pretty easily with one that's the right color. Um, but the door is maybe a little bit more difficult because I want to keep the decal on it. So, I don't know. I guess it kind of comes down to which truck I decide to keep, whether or not I'll fix the bodywork on this one. But if I can get this one registered, I'm kind of leaning towards keeping this one, even though it has a little bit higher miles. Um, and the older style suspension. I kind of prefer the newer style with the steel leaf springs, but maybe this one isn't so bad. And the other one also has the vanity plates that say Ranger EV, so I don't know. A little bit of thinking to do. Apparently this truck actually ran and drove three years ago and then it was parked. It is missing the onboard charger. As you can see here. Um, but with what I plan to do with it, I can't use the original charger anyways. So that's not really that big of a deal for me. And maybe we'll stick a 12 volt battery in it and just see what it does. That might be kind of neat. Anyhow, I suppose that is it for the time being. We'll go ahead and get this parked over by the other truck. And then hopefully next weekend, we can do a little bit of work on this one.